All right, Rhode Island is well known for culinary excellence, but a good meal doesn't have to be costly to be quality if you know where to go. And to tell us more about some great places for cheap eats, this is Lisa Harrison from Rhode Island Monthly. Good morning. So what do you have here? Good morning. Uh, a lot Thank of research you. went into this, huh? Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. Um, every year we do um, we do some type of cheap eats feature, and this year instead of going the, uh, the traditional route of... Uh, Burgers, dogs, pizza, as much as we do love that stuff, sure. uh, we decided to go uh, go global. And uh, so what we featured here, we have more than 86 restaurants all around the state. Um, everything from Thai, Cambodian, Chinese, Japanese, uh, you name it, it's here. Um, we sent our an intrepid uh, food critic, Karen Deutsch, um, who is who's anonymous. We sent her around the state, um, and she tried all of these uh, various places and reported back to us. Now talk about, she has a, she goes undercover to these restaurants? I mean, you got to be, right? Because they'd be at the restaurant saying, uh-oh, look who's here. But she must love her job. She does. She does. She does our reviews every month. Um, and those, those are actual reviews with star ratings. Um, in this case, um, she was just eating and enjoying. Um, they're not actual reviews, but um, but she does write about more than 86 places. So, Now, uh, the staff at Rhode Island Monthly covered 86 places, but I mean, it's not, talk about the different, it's, you doesn't have to spend a million bucks every weekend to go out into a nice restaurant. Talk about some of the other pl the places that you guys found. Absolutely. What we did, um, instead of just sort of doing straight write-ups, um, the way we, we broke up the feature, into it's very sidebar heavy, um, so we cover all different types of cuisine, but we do it in an interesting way. We've covered um, where to go for breakfast, where to go for great sandwiches, where to go for dessert. We even have where to go if you want a great tequila se selection. <laughs> um, she also, Karen had a lot of fun. We also have um, two different sidebars. One is called burn notice. Um, ethnic food is known to be super spicy in some right, cases, okay, so sure. she sought out um, some of the um, the spiciest places. So those are those are places you're going to want to make sure that you have um, spiciest dishes, I should say, places you're going to make sure you have a nice glass of cold milk uh, with it. Another really fun uh, sidebar that she did, um, it's called Fear Factor, and she, <laughs> <laughs> she sought out um, things like uh, <laughs> cow's feet, uh, <laughs> frog's legs, um, you know, blood sausage. Just like the show that you Yeah, yeah, you definitely right? need to have some culinary metal uh, to, to take those dishes down. Um, so she, she has that in there too. We've got uh, sidebars on dumplings. Um, so it's, it's just a, it's a real nice sort of cross-section um, of, of where to go. Um, all right. The state. Rhode Island Monthly has you set for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and all those crazy foods that you thought about trying. You weren't sure you wanted to, but now you can because they say it's okay. Thanks so much for joining us <laughs> Thank this you. morning. The November issue of Rhode Island Monthly featuring Cheap Eats is on sale now. Bed